Hello, everybody. My name is Glenn Aspisley. I'm one of the founders of Ecamm Network, makers of Ecamm Live for Mac. Now, I know a lot of you are already familiar with Ecamm Live, but for those of you who aren't, Ecamm Live is a great way to produce a live show on a Mac, usually streaming out to Facebook or YouTube and producing it from start to finish. And today, I thought I would show you some of my favorite features of the app and make sure you're using them to your full potential. Now, I can't go through everything in Ecamm Live because it is a very feature-rich app, but here's just a few things I want to show you. First, I'm going to show you Ecamm Live's Scenes feature. Scenes are a great way to plan out your show in advance, so you don't have to worry about the details while you're live. Then I'm going to show you how to build a few different scenes. First, we'll do a quick intro scene with a video and a countdown. Then, we'll set up a camera shot with a green screen and overlays. Then, I'll take you through a few cool ways to share a website or an app with your audience. Let's get started. Now, I'm recording this with Ecamm Live. So in order to show you what I'm doing in the app, I'm going to use Live Demo Mode. To start Live Demo Mode, I'm going to press Command-Shift-D on my computer. And now, instead of seeing Ecamm Live's output, you're seeing my whole computer screen. Here's Ecamm Live's main window, and here are all the other windows around the sides here. You can customize this any way you want. This is how it's going to look when you first open up the app. Let's make some scenes, shall we? You look up here in the top left corner, you'll see the scenes window. Now, we don't have any scenes yet, so we just have this one called default scene, and right now the default scene is just my camera. Let's make an intro scene. I'm going to call this intro video. Now, adding an intro video to Ecamm Live is ridiculously easy. I have an intro video file here, as you can see, on my desktop. And I'm just going to drag it into Ecamm Live's main window and watch what happens. Pause that. So you can see the intro video just started playing. And here I am, down in the bottom corner. Now, I don't want this to be in an intro video, so I'm going to X this out. And you can see it muted me automatically because I'm not in the shot, but I want you guys to be able to hear me, so I turned that back on. Now we have our intro video, and as you can see, it plays the music right into the broadcast. And this is great, but what if we wanted a countdown and some text here? To add some text, I'm going to press on this T button here. And I'll say, starting soon, and press return. You can see how easy it was to add text. And I want this a little bigger, so I'm going to use the pinch zoom gesture on my trackpad to make it bigger. I'll center it. And maybe I want a black, sort of a gray background on this. I'm going to double click it and add a background that is black and a kind of like a, um, like 20% transparency. Looks good. And I'll save it. Okay, and I'll put it right there. And maybe I'll also add a countdown. I press the countdown button. Now, say I want this to count for one minute for the purposes of this demo. And there's a couple other settings here. Auto start sounds good. And let's go to the next scene when finished. Hmm. I'll move this down, enlarge it a little bit. And maybe I don't want a background for this. And I want this to be nice and big. All right, I think our intro scene is ready to go. Now I want to bring back my other scene, so I'll do a new scene here, new empty scene. Oh, hi there. And I'll call this one camera. So now I have two scenes, intro video and camera. If I roll the intro video scene, And here is the camera scene. 
And you can see Ecamm Live is taking care of muting my mic while the intro video is playing again. Let's watch that. You can see how easy that was. So now you're set with this intro video that you can roll at the beginning of your live stream. And when that counter reaches zero, it's going to automatically transition to the next scene. So you don't have to worry about switching up your camera. That's going to happen completely automatically. It's going to bring up your camera at the end of the countdown and bring back your mic. Completely automatic. Isn't that great? All right. On to the next thing. You can see here that I look pretty good. I have a nice um, Canon EOS R camera aimed at me. And um, it looks pretty good, but we might be able to increase the quality a little bit. Let's look over here in the camera effects window. You can scroll down here and there are some picture settings. Now, I usually like to increase the gamma a little bit. Gives it sort of a richer color and maybe increase the saturation a little bit, not too much. And adjust the temperature. And now I'm starting to look a little better. But what about my background? Let's, use, let's check out the green screen feature for a minute. If I turn on green screen, I'm able to select a backdrop. Let's select color, full shelf. All right, so as you can see, nothing's happening because you need a green screen. So let me put up that green screen back here. And I have now been transported into a much nicer room. And that is really it. I mean, the green screen setting here, fade level, you can see if I adjust this, Right now I have it set on 55, but um, you can adjust this and you can see it kind of brings in the green screen and you want to adjust this level until, until any sort of like little border around you disappears and then you're good to go. Now there's a couple of reasons why you may want to use a green screen backdrop. One of them might be to add a little bit of variety to your broadcasts. Maybe you want to make it look like you're in different places all the time. Or maybe you want to do the opposite. Maybe your green screen backdrop is part of your brand. So you may have some sort of a background that has the color scheme of your brand, and you want that consistency throughout a live show, where whenever you're live, you appear to be in the same sort of studio space each time, even though you may be in different places. So think about how you can use that green screen background. It's really easy to change it up. You just pick a background here, like maybe I want to be in a home office. We have some of these built in, or you can just bring in your own. And that's really all there is to it. Now let's talk a little bit about overlays. Now overlays could be images, text, animations, web widgets, countdowns. You saw me make those text overlays earlier. Now let's talk about how to add a logo. I've got a logo down here in the corner. Adding that, as you probably imagined, is very easy. I'll drag it into the main window and let go. Now it's too big now, so I'm gonna use the pinch gesture on my trackpad to shrink it down to just the right size. And I'm gonna plop it right here in the corner. Well, that's about right. And as you can see, it adds to my current scene automatically. Maybe I want this logo to be in every scene. So I'm gonna take it and drag it here. And now this logo is gonna be in every scene in my broadcast. And I don't want to accidentally move it, so I'm going to lock it with this little lock button. And that's a logo. And maybe I want my name at the bottom of the screen, so I'm going to do another text overlay. I'm going to put my name in here. Move it where I want it. Right in the, how about right in the middle? There we go. Wasn't that easy. And this one I think I want to be only in this scene, so that if I go to a different scene, it's not going to be there anymore. All right, we're making some progress here. We've got our intro video. We've got our camera shot, our green screen background. We've got our logo. We have our title. This is starting to look like a show. The next thing I want to show you is how to use your phone as a way to engage your audience during your live stream. Now, I've got a regular old iPhone here, and I'm going to connect it using a USB cable. Just regular old USB cables with a phone. And duplicate this scene here using this duplicate button. And I'm going to call this scene phone sharing. 
And when I bring my mouse over the Ecamm main window here, you'll see that there's this camera switcher. And it has added my phone as a camera source automatically. I'm going to turn on picture in picture mode by clicking this button here. And then I'm going to add my phone in using this little plus button. Okay, it's really tiny right now, but you can see it showed up. I'm going to drag this up here, resize it out like that. And now you can see that my phone screen is part of my broadcast. I'll scooch over to the side here. And what this lets me do is now I'm sharing my phone screen with my audience. And now I might be showing off a website that I like, my own website. I might be showing off something on Instagram or Facebook or even talking about how to use a certain feature in Facebook. But this is a really, really easy way to share your screen. And since you're not sharing your computer screen, your computer is freed up to do other things. And notice how easy this was. I plugged it in, I added it in as a second camera, and now it's on my screen. And since I set this up as a scene, maybe I want to get rid of my name here. Move this a little over here. And now this is my scene. So if I go back to my camera scene, this is just the way I left it before. And if I move, go to my phone sharing screen, my overlay of my name disappears and the phone shows up. One last thing I want to show you is how to use Ecamm Live's screen sharing feature to share an app or a browser window on your Mac and how to use the green screen to make it a little bit nicer. All right, let's get started on this one. Switch back to lab demo mode. And I'm going to make a new scene by duplicating this one. And I'm going to call this Safari. And for this scene, I don't want my title, but I want to use screen sharing mode here. Now, switch over to screen sharing mode. And by default, it's sharing the current application, which is Google, which is Safari, rather. Now, I want to tell it I always want to share Safari. And I want to automatically zoom in to this app window here. Now, here I am down in the corner. I could be in a, in a circle if I wanted to be. I can move this around, put it anywhere I want. But since I'm using a green screen, I can actually use that to key myself into the browser window. So what do I mean by that? I'll go to my green screen settings here and click Transparent Pip. And now you see that orange shelf image is gone, and I am out here floating in the browser window. can make this a little bit bigger if I want. Maybe not quite that big, because then I'm blocking the website. All right, here I am over in the corner, and now I'm free to use my Safari window and show you a website on my Mac or maybe you're demoing Photoshop, or maybe you're giving a demo of how to use your product. But as you can see, this was a really easy way to do this. All right, and since I, like, again, and again, since I set this up as a scene, I can easily switch between these. So if I want to go back to my camera scene, here I am with my orange wall. And if I want to go back to Safari, here I am in my browser window. And you can switch back and forth as much as you, as many times as you need to during your show. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. Now, before I go, I'm going to turn off live demo mode and just take you through our whole show so I can show you how we did this, starting with the intro video, with my mic muted automatically, the text and countdown, switching over to the camera shot, sharing my phone screen, and also sharing a Safari window. And let's do the intro video. And then when the countdown reaches zero, it's going to automatically switch to my camera. And then I'm going to show my phone screen. And then I'm going to show you my Safari window. And as you'll see, since I set up all these scenes, it's all automatic. And I'm not having to do any sort of settings changes during my actual live broadcast. All right, here goes. All right, 
Thanks for joining us, everybody. And say I want to show you something on my phone screen. I'll switch to my next scene. Hey, here's my, here's my phone. Here's this cool website on my phone. All right, and maybe I want to show you this, um, this website I discovered called Google. Here's google.com. Definitely go check it out. Switch back to my camera scene. And now you've got yourself a show. And since I just can't resist, I'm going to show you one more cool feature of Ecamm Live before I go. Now, maybe you want to go out on some music. Ecamm Live has a sound effects window. You can find it here, this little music note up here in the corner. If you don't see your sound effects panel, click that. Here are the sound effects. And now, sound effects are great. You know, you can have your sound effects, but you can also add in music. Just make sure it's not copyrighted music that's going to get you flagged by Facebook or YouTube. But you can add in your, uh, your music files here. And when you're done with your show, you can go out on some music just like this. Thanks for joining us, everybody.